Hey everyone, be righteous from identity again, and today's video is one I think you all been waiting for, the merciless DPS build. I've been going back and forth trying to decide exactly how to put this build together, and I think I have the perfect setup. If you enjoy builds from DPS all the way to skill, then please drop a like and don't hesitate to subscribe to stay up to date with all my content. No Mercy is a name fitting for this build, because the way this weapon deals damage is unconventional. It has a crowd control mechanic that allows you to inflict 900% weapon damage every couple seconds to any group of enemies within 7 meters of the blast. This weapon has undergone very many changes, some good, some bad, but its final form just may be my favorite. So many people since getting this weapon have been complaining about how unstable it is, but I'll show you how to make this gun shoot like a laser. So if you want to play with a controller, don't worry because it'll work for you as well. Let me show you how to put this together. Hey what's going on guys, here's the build. Sorry it took me so long to release this, it's just that I didn't know exactly how to put this together in order to make it really efficient and I think I finally found it. So let's get right into it. I'm using the sharpshooter specialization and that's specifically for the stability because with the sharpshooter you get 30% stability and if you haven't used a merciless yet you don't know how unstable it is so if you don't manage that then it's pretty much not worth using this build is going to be really straightforward because there's two things you need to do and you need to worry about in order to make this a really aggressive build and i'm about to show you right now so the first weapon i'm using is the akm which hits very hard especially with the striker that i'm using because it gives you fire rate and it's pretty much a macro it has damage to armor and damage to health and because this is a crit build i'm running strain where you gain 10% critical hit damage for every half second you're firing and it stacks up to five times. So this is a very good secondary that I'm using it. <laughs> uh, if you saw the gameplay, then you know how hard this hits. So it's perfect for that. But the main weapon you're gonna be using is the Merciless. I got this from farming hyena bosses. So you can go do Jefferson Trade Center, you can do Grant Washington Hotel. And this is how it drops, it's a random drop. It's a decent roll, and this weapon has a binary trigger. That means that when you pull the trigger, it fires, and when you release the trigger, it fires. And if both bullets hit the same enemy, you gain a stack. And at seven stacks, shooting an enemy creates a seven meter explosion, dealing 900% weapon damage, consuming the stack. Now, the good thing about this is that you don't have to be shooting the same enemy. You could get three stacks off one enemy, and then other four stacks off another enemy. You can even get your stacks off of a enemy's turret and one of the best ways to use this weapon is against like shield players those mounted turrets and especially those shield rushers because what it does is the seven meter explosion it hits anything behind the shield and whoever's in that seven meter explosion for 900 percent weapon damage many people told me that when i released my merciless video last week oh why don't you just use the m1a because i'm doing three million crits to the head or this and that well the merciless is a different type of way that you deal damage it's kind of a crowd control DPS weapon, which is great. So you can hit enemies behind structures and you could you could cause massive damage to multiple enemies. So it's a different way you cause DPS. Pistol, I'm just using the Sharpshooter 93R. Nothing special about that. I don't really use it because there's no point. But for the build, okay, I'm using the Coyote's Mask. Many of you know what this is. I wish I had more crit chance, but you can't roll exotics. They are as they come. And this one is pack instincts, right? Since I have about 42% critical hit chance on my merciless, this mask is perfect because depending on where you're at, it gives you crit chance and crit damage. You're pretty much going to be at this distance and sometimes this distance. So you're going to be getting 10 to 25% critical hit chance, which is pretty good. And if anybody else is wearing it on your team, it's even better. So. Coyote's Mask is great for when you're lacking in crit chance and a little bit of damage. It helps you out to get there. Chest piece. I'm running a Fenris, and this is for the AK's damage. I like to show all my weapons some love, you know what I'm saying? So I got a Fenris for the AK damage, and I have an Overlord for the Merciless damage. It's a pretty good roll, 15% weapon damage. And guys, this is what I was talking about when I said that people who use controllers and who, use, who play on console, it's gonna work for them. I've played on console, so I know what it's like to try to manage an unstable weapon with analog sticks, and it's not fun. So this is why weapon handling is really important on this. Okay, this came with, with weapon handling, and I just kept it there. So this, this is a really good chess piece, and I'm pretty sure not many of you are using braced. While in cover, weapon handling is increased 
by 45%. So that right there is already 60% weapon handling. And you're going to need it on this weapon. Trust me. If you haven't used this weapon, it's very unstable. I used glass cannon before, but if you can't hit your shots, then there's no point in using glass cannon. And this build already is it's kind of hard to use in PvP. It's amazing in PvE, by the way. But in PvP, you have to kind of really be careful, especially with how everybody's using Pestilence and Kim Launcher Fire Starter. It's really hard to try and survive in PvP. But if you got skills, you can make it work. So pretty much this build is just for like dishing out as much damage as you can as fast as you can. And that brings me to the striker, which gives me 15% weapon handling, which adds on to the 60%, giving me 75% weapon handling. Look at the difference between how it fires without weapon handling and with weapon handling. Also, the merciless already shoots super fast. And with this three piece, it gives you 15% rate of fire. So you can get those stacks so fast. That's why I said it allows you to get 900% weapon damage every couple seconds. And sometimes I don't know what it is, but this glitches out man and it gives you another seven meter explosion like right after it detonates sometimes i don't know what it is maybe it's a glitch but it's a it's a glitch in your favor you know what i'm saying and since striker is broken right now this four piece doesn't work strikers gamble weapon hits amplify your total weapon damage by a half second and it stacks up to 50. that hasn't worked since striker was released and i just wrote crit chance on here so what you want to do is you want to maximize your crit chance and maximize your damage because the merciless that explosion the detonation is based on weapon damage so the more weapon damage you have the more this is amplified i was thinking about maybe putting some armor cores on here because what i've noticed from playing pvp is that the longer you stay in combat the longer you can outlast somebody who you're face tanking so it might not necessarily be mostly about weapon damage but sustain so i might change it i don't know but in pve you want to keep it this way pve you're not going to be able to stand in front of nobody so you just want to make sure you're behind cover and just make sure you're playing strategically when you're going against enemies in pve for the backpack i'm running the striker's backpack nothing special about this same thing as a holster it's just the backpack you know and i have also crit chance and weapon damage if i was wearing the, the four piece then this would work that's what i like about the gear sets no matter how many pieces you have on, the backpack talent is always going to work if it's applicable. Like right right now, since I'm wearing a three-piece, this isn't even applicable. But like, for example, ongoing directive will give you emergency requisition. So if you're just wearing that backpack, then it'll collect the resources for you. Striker's gloves, 6% crit chance and weapon damage. Like I said, y'all, this is a straightforward build. It took me a while to understand how I wanted to make it work. And the, the weapon handling and fire rate is just perfect for this. Of course, you know I got to rock the Fox's pair of knee pads. 15% damage to targets out of cover and crit chance. This might be one of my most straightforward builds, but I wanted to get this out for you because a lot of people didn't really know how to use a weapon. People were commenting on my on my video about this, about, oh man, this is unstable. How can it be viable? How can I use this? Well, this is the way you go. You use a sharpshooter for its stability and for its headshot damage, by the way, because rifles do headshot damage and sharpshooter is just fitting for this. Along with the weapon handling you have all along with the build, it's the perfect relationship. Since I have zero skill tiers, the only thing I'm running is the fixture drone, which doesn't even really heal me, honestly. It doesn't heal me that much at all. And the reviver hive. If you're in PVP, they're just gonna shoot, shoot you when you're down, but it's good for PVE. When you get down, you got another life. So the main focus of this build is to just dish out as much damage as you can. And you'll be able to do that with how fast this fires and how much crowd control it has in that little seven meters. I mean, I was fighting James Dragoff and it's just nailing his shield and every explosion was hitting everybody around him. Those rushers with the axes, anybody who rushes you with shields is perfect for. I, I prefer this build more in PVE than PVP. Maybe if I increase the armor cores in PVP, it might be a little more viable. So I'm going to try that. And I'm gonna see how it works. But once you get in cover with braced, this thing shoots like a laser. And it's kind of unbelievable with how unstable this is. So go ahead and implement this build and tell me how you like it. Next build I got coming, y'all, is gonna be very good. There's a few metas going around. One in particular, the Kim Launcher Firestarter. I got one for that. So stay tuned for that one. I know this was a quick build, but thanks for tuning in. Try this out. This build is amazing for, for dishing out DPS to groups. And it's just a fun weapon and a fun build to play with, especially when you're playing with somebody that has true patriot. 
because each explosion detonates with damage based on how much total armor and health the enemy has so you just see explosions going off everywhere it's just really fun to look at and fun to play so that'll do it for this build called no mercy try it out let me know what you think about it and i'll see you in my next build video be right out